You're watching 13 Sports Zone. I'm Norman C. Wright. Marshall football players are gearing up to leave for Albuquerque this Wednesday, then play in Saturday's New Mexico Bowl against Colorado State. The Thundering Herd spent Saturday morning at the Barbersville Walmart running a toy drive for kids. While doing that, the herd met and talked with fans and have got some encouraging words before they head out west. And, you know, we're pretty ecstatic about being able to go out there and, you know, experience something new playing a great team too. We're telling them we're going to be ready. We know they're going to be ready. And uh, it's the bowl game, so we're going to give them our best shot. You know, they're a great team. We've worked really hard, so, you know, I can't wait to see how this game goes. Marshall women's basketball in Gainesville, Florida today. The Thundering Herd were defeated by Florida despite outscoring the Gators 25 to 14 in the fourth quarter. Taliquia Hamilton led Herd scoring with 21 points and Ashika Alexander followed her with 11. The Herd are off until Saturday and they will play at home. The Cleveland Browns are having an interesting week. A new general manager within hours of firing the old one. Wide receiver Josh Gordon is back with the team after a two season suspension. And now the team hosting the Green Bay Packers while chasing their first win since December 24th of last year. In the first quarter, Packers score first, but Deshaun Kaiser to Josh Gordon. That's an 18 yard touchdown pass. His first touchdown since returning from suspension. Game tied at seven. Second quarter, Kaiser shovel pass to Duke Johnson. There he goes. Seven yard touchdown. The Browns are leading the Packers. Okay, that's one of the sentences I never thought I would say in my life. It's 14 to 7. Third quarter, Kaiser to Corey Coleman. It's a two yard touchdown. 21 to 7 Browns. If a Browns lead sounds too good to be true, it probably is. The Packers come back to tie and force overtime. Then the Packers force a Browns turnover and then score in overtime to condemn the Browns to an 0 and 13 record. In the spirit of the season, please hug your closest Browns fan. They probably need it. Ohio's other football team also hosting Chicago Bears scored a touchdown to begin with, but no extra points. So in the first quarter, Bengals Andy Dalton to Brandon LaFell. That's a 14 yard pass for the touchdown and they got their extra point. So the good news here is that the Bengals led today until the second quarter. The Bears then terrorized the Bengals for the rest of the game, picking Dalton in the third quarter and refusing to allow Cincinnati to score again. The Bears dominate the Bengals 33 to 7. Now, without considering any other games today, the Pittsburgh Steelers own the top spot in the AFC North. The Baltimore Ravens are number two. I say this because the playoff spots are starting to be filled. The Steelers host the Ravens tonight at 8.30 p.m. Bit of a wild day for Absolutely. NFL football, I but, know. you know. And we thought they might actually finally get a win the four very rounds. Close. Oh, very close. The goodness. Packers are very good at comeback wins. That's just what they do. <laughs> All righty. Thanks so much, Norm. We're going to take a live look.